Yeah, I used to fake work out until I got dedicated and started to do more, and you know, and stop playing and get serious. So I lost my weight um, by working out and def more. I wasn't consistent with my workout, but eating, eating, eating good is what helped me. My goal was 175 and 150. But this is where it's a great res representation, but it's exactly like how small my actual stomach is right here. But can you see it? So this is my actual stomach right now and where I got it to. And this is the excess skin. On this, this first clip is when this I went to a consultation at an office called King of uh, called Sona Bello and King of Pressure PA, but it felt like a big scam to me, or I just felt they wanted to charge like $12,000 for not even to guarantee you any work. I felt like it was for more small petite people. Anywho, got scammed out of like $1,200, but glad I went with the decision of going with Dr. Chang in Newark, and I will post this information. Can't wait till I get this last bit off and that stubborn back roll. So I had sold y'all uh, well, that now. Like that. In other words, whatever you were born to do is that sold you like I had my stomach with. So then you and with an extra skin. Like I said, moving on weight and everything, gone, but this is gonna be there, you know, from C sections, had pre C sections. Going 235 was my heaviest when I had a baby, and 200 was where I was at when I started my journey officially. Uh, last year, like officially, about a year and a half, like a year, a little over a year. So I'll, I'll buy those uh, micro things to, to kind of like flatten it out. Well, because you're never supposed to have um, something like straight against your skin because they'll call it irritation. But just me trying to think of different things that works. You know, so my like just trying to work on like how I can get this, you know, formed and everything. Like I said before, really, I, I really had no feel like I don't, I'm not gonna spend money getting that tummy tuck. It's just not that important to me. I'm just happy I even made it this far. Losing my weight, I'm not, I'm not super depressed. I'm happy with you know what I got. Anymore. But I'm gonna just show you one of the things. Like sometimes, like when I'm going out. You know, I'm gonna say going out or just how you wanna look at your clothes. I'm not one of those people that could just be looking that could uh, just throw something on, have my stomach hanging looking all a certain way. Like so yeah, this is one of the things I use. I can I'm gonna start um putting this stuff in like my Amazon link. But this uh belt band, I live by this. You know, most waist trainers and all that type of stuff is like bigging in you. You know, holding nine yards. So, like I said, you don't have to wear that, but I do wear that just so it can keep, cause so it is like keep it compressed. But you don't have to. And I like it because this is one size fit all, and you can put it on however it feels for your comfort, for your body. You know, whether you want to make it tighter, you know, looser. So I definitely like this so much better. And I have it in black and in tan. You never see it under your clothes. And I felt that this helps to start to, to see how it start to train and work on, you know, that shape in between time. It definitely helps for compression. And then I can even you can see how much of a difference it is. And it start to, you know, like I said. So the reason why I was kind of like flipping right here is because by habit, I'd be trying to put it up as much as I can on my back. But other than that, I don't really have, to me, I don't really have some issues like with it, you know, folding down or anything. But I just like to pull mine up higher underneath my bra line so that it's not pushing that back roll. However, some days I'm just going to be in the mood for it. So, like I said, I'll wear it some days and this is one of my long work days. And most of the time I'll start with it and then take it off. But I'm just not in the mood to just want to be comfortable. So. So like I said, it's not a necessity. I think I probably use it out of comfort and have it. Um, but still ain't no big deal. But I definitely always like to share that with my clients and my ladies. 
that you know, just what you know, when you want to keep this up together more and just look a certain way. And so, and as you as you're doing it, not only is the cuts on your body, but after a while, it will start to increase your intake because it's like you're not. I don't know how to explain it. When you got it on, and by having you just going you don't even want to eat a whole bunch because it's like you you used to just kind of restricting a little bit. Yes. I'm cracking up. Do not judge how many times I put deodorant on. I swear, when it comes to putting deodorant on, I think I have worse to do. Because I will do this like 30 times. And people just, that's what I mean when I said that earlier. People just be paying back on stuff. Or you go because like, that's what people tell you. But just, what is your purpose? What is your gift? Because you're not going to do it. And you're going to regret it every time.